Now let us talk about the in vivo gene therapy. Now in the in vivo gene therapy, it simply uh, is something like that. So what we are doing here in in vivo gene therapy, we are uh, simply directly injecting this uh, normal copy of the gene inside uh, someone's body. Now this direct insertion could be via the injection process or could be viral infection again. So we can utilize virus for direct infection. We can uh, do it via the injection process. Now here is the detailed mechanism. So if we are having this, uh, this is the gene. This gene is having the uh, LTRs both the end and in between we are having the re reporter gene which will tell us whether the gene is properly inserted inside the body or not. Now we transfect this into a packaging cell line. Now here comes two different cells. One is the packaging cell line. Another one is the trans target cell line. Now the packaging cell line is a complementary cell line onto which for the delivery vehicle, onto which the delivery vehicle is generated or the delivery vehicle is produced for any kind of gene therapy. If we are using virus as our gene mediate gene delivery vehicle, we must exclude uh, the viral factors or virulent factors from the gene of the virus. So we'll exclude all those factors. We'll exclude all the gene, all the virulent genes from the virus. So what we'll get only, we'll, we'll need only some of these proteins which can produce the capsid of the virus because it is required. Okay, so for this purpose, we need the packaging signal only. So say this is the gene and this is a normal packaging cell line. It is having its own nucleus. So what we are doing here, we incorporate a gene inside this packaging cell line okay and this new uh, inside in this new insert will produce some of this viral membrane uh, protein or viral capsid protein like gag pol and env now this protein will start to produce viruses will start to assemble viruses so what we can get here we are getting this proteins along with the nucleic acids so now the viral capsid can be made and then we take these viruses and we'll have this virus to incorporate our gene inside the target cell line. Okay. So remember, in the packaging cell line, we have one particular uh, gene for the production of the viral coat particles. And also we are infecting those target or packaging cell line with our desired gene. So what we are doing, we are having a cell inside the cell line nucleus, we are having some of the genes for the gag pol env okay but now what we are doing we are incorporating the 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 uh, some of the target R gene which will produce our target gene of interest for this gene therapy now this target gene of interest here is this rna will be packaged utilizing the translated product of the pre existing nuclear gene of that packaging cell and to to finally produce this viruses now we can take the viruses and this virus can inject uh, infect uh, target cells and can replace uh, the target cell old faulty gene with the new gene of our interest okay now what are the advantages of this in vivo therapy now this approach appears simpler than the ex vivo gene transfer and often it's not need to be moni monitored on the regular basis or outside the someone's body so we let the body take its own course and it will does uh, it will do the job on its own right it can uh, once optimized uh, this therapy when it's uh, once optimized it can be applied to vast series of patients with the same type of diseases right so you don't need to do it again and again outside to prove it so if it is a one time uh, standardized we can do it again and again for the same disease to lot of patients okay now again there must, must be disadvantages the gene might enter the cell other than the desired targets so wrong target insertion can lead to the unwanted effects this is the thing second thing a vector used for the gene therapy might be inactivated to elicit an immune response because we must have a, a fear for having some immune response if you utilizing viruses so must be the virulent factor must be uh, el uh, el 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 eliminated right now most cells in, the, in our body including the cardiomyocytes neurons and hepatocytes and post mitotic stages so this limits the application for some vectors so if they are in the post mitotic stage so they won't divide but if the cells are not dividing then uh, the transfer of the new gene will uh, lead to no effect 
because the the process or or the theory that is based on this particular thing is that once we are inserting this gene so once we are inserting this gene into the nucleus this cell must divide this cell must produce lot of cells otherwise the production will be uh, of no effect right so this is very important and inside our body cardiomyocytes neuron and hepatocytes and most of the cells are post mitotic are in post mitotic stage so they won't divide most of the time so it will give the limitation to this gene transfer okay and first several tissues are difficult to reach uh, using this process so these are some uh, some of the processes but if you are doing it in ex vivo technique we can directly doing it so this is a ex vivo technique remember taking out the cell doing it all outside the body and then reinject it uh, when it's, everything is okay reinject it on the other hand uh, in 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 uh, vivo technique direct injection uh, is done uh, it could be injection or via the viral vector mediated okay so again immune uh, response is the fault and again uh, target loss is another and third one is the most of them are the in post mitotic phase so it there is a possibility that they won't divide okay so we have to make sure everything is okay in all these cases so ex vivo and in vivo gene transfer strategies in the same picture we can have the ex vivo here is the ex vivo is in vivo so in vivo direct utilization of a virus uh, or viral mediated or liposome mediated liposome mediated delivery means is simply uh, we are uh, taking a liposome as a vehicle inside the liposome we will have our desired gene and we can deliver it inside the body okay because liposome can be uh, transported by the blood so it is a very easy to transport okay and in case of ex vivo remember we need to take the tissue and in the culture of the tissue and doing all the job outside then reinject it so simple as that now here some therapeutic nucleic acids so we can directly incorporate nucleic acids remember we can use viruses for the incorporation we can use direct incorporation of nucleic acid and we can have the liposome mediated delivery in both the cases in vivo and